Hi everyone, good day. This is Hilary DeFreitas, The Marketing Mom, and today I'm running through a very brief presentation on how to build a sales funnel that will bring in more leads a day. Um, we are in business to, to get leads, and sometimes you, you present an offer to people and they don't buy immediately. The purpose of the sales funnel primarily is to generate leads so that you could sell to people in the future, not necessarily to sell to them right now even though in a sales funnel you have that opportunity. So diving in here, I mean, what is a sales funnel? Basically, it is the mechanism by which you will build any online business and arguably any business because you have to get people's interests, right, which is the capture page. You have to continually follow up with them even if they may not buy on the first go, which is, your, which is what you use your autoresponder for online. In the offline world, you would use direct mail, um, little birthday cards, Christmas cards, all those type of things. That is what you call following up using an autoresponder, quote-unquote. And then there's the thank you or sales page. The sales page is where you can make your first offer to people. And if they don't buy, then you could always follow up with them because you've captured their information in the autoresponder. So those are actually the three components that I'm going to be going over with you. The capture page, the autoresponder, and then the thank you sales page. All right? So the capture page is arguably the most important aspect of your sales funnel because once people get here, if they bounce, then you have nothing going into your sales funnel. All right. So the most important thing about your your capture page is that you must have a compelling headline. All right. Now, compelling headlines at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a link where you can learn how to write really compelling headlines because without your headline, basically your online business is shot to hell. All right. You must have a call to action. Again, you must have a very strong call to action, very similar to your headline. You have to compel people to want to put in their information. And then obviously you have to have the opt-in for now. What's been happening is that usually you use a capture page to give away something, which is usually called a lead magnet. Very many people are turning away from that, that um, mode of operation of giving the, the lead magnet after they've opted. And a lot of people have been giving away the lead magnet before people even opt in because what that does is it, it puts in people's mind the idea that, okay, well, if you've given me this information before I even gave you anything, i.e. my name and email address, then I'm more likely to give you that because I trust you. You've actually given me free information. All right. So that is something that you need to consider in building your capture page. It may be regard, um, instead of just the headline and a capture and a opt in action, call to action and opt in form, maybe you should have a video on there that's training people on something. Or maybe you have a video that then eventually sends them to the capture page. Whatever the case, let people get something before they give you something and then give them more after they've opted in. All right. And the more comes in the autoresponder. All right. So once you have an autoresponder, your leads or subscribers or customers, basically, they are automatically added to what we call a list where you are able to now follow up. Personally, I use Aweber. Um, many other people they use GetResponse, Mailchimp, Infusionsoft is also one that's used by larger marketers online. And basically, it helps you build a relationship, especially with those people who don't buy uh, buy on the first go. All right, you. It's also a mechanism for you to deliver more training. If you have a lead magnet that needs to be delivered via email. That can also be delivered if it's a 10-day series or anything like that. You let people know about that on your thank you page. All right. So your thank you page, which is the third component of this sales funnel, is that you basically you thank people for opting in and you offer them an option to buy something. All right. It's the first place where you're going to be able to give them information that they could actually buy something from you. Now, assuming that you follow the value first principle of giving them information before they opted in to your list, they are more likely to buy from you. But even if they don't, you already have their information 
all right, so that you could follow up with them. You present their email, you present their lead magnet to them, you set expectations, and most importantly, you introduce who you are to them. You're a mom, you're a teacher, you're a, you're a construction worker, whoever you are. You introduce yourself to the person who you are communicating with that has just opted into your list. So to summarize really quickly, you want to have that compelling headline, all right, that a lot, that sends people into the capture page opt-in form and that information then goes into the autoresponder where you follow up with email on them continuously and then most importantly is the thank you page where you either let them know that their video is on the way or check their email introduce yourself etc etc so for those who are interested in getting more learning more about how to write compelling headlines, especially for your capture pages that will make people want to opt in, go to hillarydefreitas.com forward slash headlines. All right, that's hillarydefreitas.com. You see it right there on your screen and jump into that. It, you're going to receive um, a free document of some headline formats that you could use and then you will be offered um, a product to purchase that will allow you to train more on how to write headlines for not only capture pages, but also for emails. All right. This has been Hillary, the marketing mom. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Bye now.